Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And you know, it's just listening to the member from Winnipeg North get up here every time and trying to cover up liberal corruption and this scandal is just sickening. Now, I want to thank the member from, from Battle River Crowfoot for, for his articulation on this to show and, and actually lay out that this all stop started with Nav Deep Baines when he was the Minister of Industry appointing liberal cronies that then were able to line their pockets with taxpayer money while the current Minister of Industry turned a blind eye, willfully turned a blind eye, and also looks like may have actually enriched the value of shares of the minister from the environment who has stakes in one of the companies that benefited from all this liberal largesse and corruption. One of the whistleblowers that they heard at testimony says, I think that the current government is more interested in protecting themselves and protecting the situation being a public nightmare and they'd rather protect wrongdoers and financial mismanagement than have to deal with a situation like this SDTC and the public sphere. Mr. Speaker, my question to my colleague is, you know, is that actually the definition of liberal cover-ups and liberal corruption? Great question. Gentleman member for Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I appreciate the question posed to uh, uh, my, my friend from Manitoba who understands uh, very well and has rightfully pointed out how that member from Winnipeg in his province is, uh, uh, is, is, is covering up the corruption. Because, Mr. Speaker, what we have here is not conservative accusations, but the fact that the Auditor General, an independent officer of Parliament, has found egregious mismanagement to the tune of $390 million worth of contracts given inappropriately. This was not Conservatives that did the audit. Conservatives have demanded that the audit be done because we saw the inconsistencies and we saw how, how the, the chair of the fund was getting these contracts and whatnot, so we called in the auditors. Now, the good thing about the Auditor General, Mr. Speaker, is it takes politics out of it. Now, the Liberals may not like what the auditor found, but the fact is the Auditor General found that to the tune of $390 million, there was money that was mismanaged, went to these liberal insiders.